Charlie, Siavash and Lisa are in the sitting room. Rodrigo, Big Brother has something to tell you. <laughs> right, Big Brother has something to tell you and he's thinking, oh, the Queen liked me or something. Oh God, Unfortunately, that is horrible. Rodrigo, that is horrible. it was not the Queen. It was the Queen's doubles. How do you feel? Big Brother, how dare you do this to me? Rodrigo, could you please get back on the chair? <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Big Brother has called Rodrigo to the diary room. Rodrigo? Yes? For this week's shopping task, housemates had to embrace all things British. Yes. To pass his challenge, Halfwit had to play a note continuously for 30 seconds on the bagpipes. Yes. He passed his challenge and won £80 towards the shopping budget. Very good. To pass their challenge, Marcus and Siavash had to bog snorkel. They passed their challenge and, and won £80 pounds towards the shopping budget. And they've done really well. To pass their challenge, B, David and Lisa had to bet on the winning horse in a race. None of them backed the winner and therefore they won nothing. That's okay. Rodrigo, your challenge was to have afternoon tea with the Queen. Oh my God. <laughs> Rodrigo, yeah. Big Brother has a confession to make. Yes. That was not your real challenge. Why? In order to pass your real challenge, housemates had to convince you that you had met Her Royal Highness the Queen today. Rodrigo, the lady you had tea with earlier was not Her Majesty the Queen. She was a look-alike. I can't believe Big Brother don't touch me. Big Brother... How can you do that to me, Big Brother? I can't believe you did that to me, Big Brother. <laughs> I can't believe you did that to me. And everybody in the house knew. That's correct. Oh, my God! I can't believe this! How embarrassing! Oh, my God! How embarrassing! You have no heart, big brother. Rodrigo, as a result of convincing you that you had actually met the Queen, your fellow housemates won a further £80 towards the shopping budget. God! Everyone made me stupid. Furthermore, Rodrigo, your fellow housemates have also won Shocked. five tokens for the group, and each of you will receive an extra special prize. Oh, God. I'm shocked. Rodrigo, you are the first housemate to receive their special prize. Yeah. In front of you is an envelope. It contains a copy of a genuine letter that Big Brother received this morning from oh, Buckingham Palace. Now I don't believe in anything. <laughs> Rodrigo, Big Brother can assure you this letter is genuine. Please feel free to open the letter. Could you read it aloud? Uh, dear Mr. Lopez, I have been asked to thank you for your letter of 3rd August addressed to the Queen, in which you describe your life in Sao Paulo and your reasons for requesting an audience with Her Majesty. I am afraid that it will not be possible to do, as you ask since each day the Queen has to undertake a large number of engagements and official audience, and it is just not practical for her to add to her diary all the many similar requests such as yours that are received. I am sorry to send you a disappointing reply. And I have been asked to convey hopes that you will enjoy your stay in the country in this country. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a genuine letter from Buckingham Palace. Thank you very much, Big Brother. Rodrigo, next the letter is a box. The box contains a genuine gift from Buckingham Palace. Please feel free to open the box. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. That's really, really kind. Thank you very much. I will always keep this with me. And even if it's not, was not the real queen, I would like just to say that um, I said what I said to her is what I would like to say to the real queen. I saying this to her represent what I 
would say to all the country. Rodrigo, Big Brother thanks you for being a good sport and congratulates you on being responsible for allowing all the housemates to receive special gifts. In addition to these special gifts, you have won messages from home for you and all your fellow housemates, which will be delivered later in the week. Oh, very good, very good. Thank you very much, Big Brother. You know how much I love you. Even you made me so stupid today. I love you so much. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> oh my god, everybody be laughing at me. All the drama I did. Oh my god, that is weird. No one is laughing. Let me say something. I have something to say. Come on. We've passed the task. <laughs> and something more. And something more. Everyone in the house want message from home will be delivered by the end of the week. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my and god! Five tokens for the group and oh fish and chips tonight for everyone! <laughs> <laughs>
I don't want to get into an argument. I want you to just accept what I've said. Yeah, but the, the but and it it's is... it's been very... Honestly, it's you've just very been telling me for the last that half I hour. just go to the diary room and say, you know what, I want to go home. Because this is a tough situation. Yeah, you can do that. And I'm really, really trying. Really trying. Pete, I'm not having a go at you or you anything like that. You are having a go not. at me. All I'm getting from you and Freddie is telling me how oh, negative I am. Please stop I am telling me and Freddie. All the time. All the time.